Hey guys, it's Baban, I'm back with another tutorial and today we're going to be having a look at how to bring a bunch of images into one single file without Clip Studio opening it as a separate canvases. So what I want to do as an example is explain how I make my little emote sheets like this. I'm also going to explain how this helps me to either like bring in refs into a single file or how it helps me with resizing like a huge set of emotes and getting them all the different sizes just a little bit quicker than it would otherwise. I also have an emote tutorial which I will put a link to now and also at the end of the video. Okay, so when we're using Clip Studio, if I just go to a blank file, if you want to bring a bunch of images in, if I just go on to Finder and I find these emotes, if I go and grab them all like this, I'll grab a set of them. If I drag them over like this, straight from my files, then you can see at the top, it's opened all of these on separate canvases. And I don't want that, because that's the way I used to do it. What I would do would be to plunk them all in like that, and then I'd go copy, paste, copy, paste, onto this new file, and then kind of move them around. And make a sheet which is kind of the same thing I would do with refs but I figured out a better way of doing that and it helps especially when you've got a massive set of emotes or something so let me get rid of all these extra ones that have just opened as different layers and I'm gonna get rid of the ones on this new canvas as well now the way to get them into a single file like this just on the different layers is to go up to file at the top and then we're gonna go down to import, and then we're gonna go to image. I'm gonna type in what I want, and there's my emotes there. And now what I'm gonna do is select all of them like that, and then hit open. And now, as it loads, you should see that instead of opening more canvases up the top, what we've got, and I've accidentally duplicated a lot of these because I've got two versions of them saved in my files. Let me just delete some of those. What you can see now is that it's brought these all in onto the different layers like that. So I don't need to do any copy and pasting. I can just start moving these around as they are into a sheet straight away without having to go and mess with anything at all like that. And it's super duper useful if you've got some different things like this that you want to make a sheet out of. Let me go and try some more. Let's go and do it again with some different things. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to go to import again and image. Now I did a project last year where I did a whole bunch of different little landscapes and there's just lots and lots of them and that would not be fun to drag them all in individually and copy paste so it makes it easier to do things like this if you want to do like a huge sheet. Now if you look down the side you can see they are all on these different layers lined up for me here and I can start grabbing them and moving them around and making myself a little presentation sheet of all of these without having to do any copy and pasting. Um, this is, like I say, this is a good thing to do with refs as well. If you prefer to bring your refs into the file you're working on, you can just bring them all in like that in one go. Okay, and lastly, let's have a look at how I resize my emotes with this method. Now, I'm going to change the canvas size of this, and I'm going to make it 900 by 900 because that's the size I do my emotes to. You want to open it up as the size you do your emotes to if you want to resize them like this. And then I'm going to go to File, Import, Image again. I'm going to pull my emotes up again. I'm going to select them all and bring them in. And because they're the same size as this canvas that I've made, I turn off all the ones underneath like so. Then I've got them all on the same thing. So all I've got to do is turn these layers on and off to see the different ones. And what I can do from this to get my other sizes is go to change image resolution like this, which is the way that I do it. And then I can go and do 112, which is the biggest size, like that. 
and then straight away because they're all on different layers on this I've got them all ready to do and then all I need to do is go and turn these layers on and off like that I can save it pretty easy like that just go and put in whatever I want to save it as and then once I've saved one I'll turn it off do the next one bring the save up again and save it and then the next one and save that one and the next one and save that one I'm not actually going to save these to show you guys I've already got them all saved but just to show you guys how I'd go through it and that I've got just just quick buttons that I can press so it takes me like a fraction of the time that it would to go and resize them all separately and then if I go and hit undo once I've done all of my biggest size I can go back to change image resolution and then I can do the 56 size like that and then just go through them again as I would like that just changing the file name slightly as I go to tell me which size is which like that and like that just all the way through them and then I'd go back again and do it one last time with the 28 sizes I'm making sure that I change the size from the biggest one first so that it doesn't degrade it any further I always go back to the largest size before I change the size down to a smaller one uh yeah I hope that helped if it did give us a like share if you think it'll help someone else and subscribe for new videos on Saturdays there will be links in the description to everywhere that I post up as well as where you can find prints of things that I've already drawn and my commission information like I mentioned before, I will put a link to my emote tutorial that I mentioned at the start on the screen now. I also like stream most weekdays, like like most weekdays on here and on Twitch. If if you wanna if you wanna come if you wanna come along and chat with us. So uh, yeah, uh, but thanks for watching, lads. Bye bye. Bye bye.